And good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us here tonight at 530. I'm Tim Lake. And I'm Trishna Megan. Railroad workers in western Massachusetts are now trying to get their freight trains back on the main track after a partial collapse of a historic tunnel. Now, the Hoosac Tunnel dates back to the 1870s and travels for nearly five miles under a spur of the Green Mountains. That's near North Adams. But tonight, it's still blocked. And News 10's Mary Wilson has a look at what engineers believed happened. As a centerpiece of the North Adams Museum of History, the Hoosick Tunnel is considered a remarkable feat of engineering, still in use after 150 years until last week when a collapse has left locals worried about the future of the iconic portal to the tunnel. Claim to fame in North Adams is the Hoosick Tunnel. Historian Chuck Cahoon is working to replicate what stands as a testament to 1800s ingenuity. No one had ever built tunnel that long before. They did not have the equipment to do it when they started. It was all invented on the project. Methods that are used in tunnel digging even today. The four and three quarter mile tunnel provided a route to Boston, turning North Adams into a booming mill city. It actually allowed North Adams to be built into the city that it was. Digging began in 1851 and took 22 years with 200 lives lost along the way. They were using high explosives, so there were many accidents. He says the issues workers faced back then contributed to last week's collapse, a portion of loose soil near the west entrance. They had to line the opening with a brick pipe to uh, hold the loose rock back. Water has percolated through this, and every once in a while, some collapses. He says it's happened three times before, but the latest is the worst and could result in a major repair known as daylighting. In which they would cut off all the roof of the tunnel back maybe 300 feet to 1,000 feet. Shortening the tunnel and possibly removing the granite facade seen everywhere from the town seal to Cahoon's belt buckle. We don't really want to lose it and wonder if that's going to happen when this process gets done. However it's done, Cahoon is confident a repair will keep freight on the move for centuries to come. In North Adams, I'm Mary Wilson, News 10, ABC.